Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. It is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going wonderfully. Up this morning, slept in a little bit, so dealing with the whole, everything that everybody else is dealing with, but just uh, trying to stay afloat. So I am, I'm doing good. I'm just making sure I get rest. So I think that's the key. Resting, not overworking myself and taking the time if I need it. So I was glad I slept in a little bit and then I just sat outside and had coffee with Greg before he left for work and I'm like, it's a nice day. It's back to cold again, like sweatshirt weather. <laughs> and my weather app, it showed like, you know, yesterday it said temperatures to plummet. I'm like, temperatures to plummet because it was so warm yesterday. Like we were in the pool. The kids are like, the water is too warm. Mom, it's hot outside. And so we were like, great, we'll leave it uncovered. It's going to be warm. It's going to be great. And then I woke up today and I'm like, wait a minute, it's freezing again. So <laughs> who knows? Who knows? I used to think the weather was like so off and on in Michigan, like someday it'd be super hot, the next day it'd be freezing. And I think I remember one of the kids had a t-shirt we found at Goodwill one time and it was Michigan's temperature. It was like Monday, sunshine. And then Tuesday was rain. And then Wednesday was back to sunshine. Then Thursday was snow. You know, it just went through all the weather changes. And I'm like, yeah, that definitely is it. But then I think the mountains, it was the same way. It was the same way. Some days it'd be great. Some days it'd be, it just depended. In Florida, I'm finding it can be the same thing. I think most of the days are sunny and nice, but you do have that up and down weather, especially this winter but you know what whatever it gives you a chance to wear a sweatshirt I'm like if I would feel bad to buy this and only wear it a few times so I'm wearing my sweatshirt today and then I'm like you know what I'm gonna do some food today so today is another baking day I'm enjoying I did that last week and I'm like this is nice to have so I'm gonna do a bunch of some foods today some treats cuz we have Madeline's birthday tomorrow and so um, she wanted to make some of her food so when she gets up and moving she's gonna do that and then I'm gonna do some treats for Valentine's Day because we have some stuff and I thought it'd be good to make. And then I'm gonna also do some baking of items because that is fun to do. And I'm home today, I don't have to go anywhere. That's always a good thing. If you have to leave the house, don't do it because it's just too crazy. But I will be home all day. So that is something that I can focus on for today. So for dinner today, I'm gonna make stromboli. Haven't made this in years, years, way back in the beginning. It has been so long and I'm like, Stromboli, that would be something yummy to make. And so I used to make it in big giant loaves. We had huge amounts. I was looking at my old recipe. I'm like, yeah, that's a lot. I don't even need that much. So we're gonna do two loaves today. We're gonna small size it and make it super small, but I'm gonna do a little bit different because I wanna start on other food instead of mixing up my hand, which you can. I'm gonna put in my bread machine and let the bread machine do the mixing up of work because that saves on, you know, having to do things. And I can focus on other things. So I wanna do some peanut brittle. So that's gonna take some time on the stove. So. We are going to have a great day. You ready for a great day? We're going to make some stuff. So get your things together. Get your list. I'm doing random things I haven't done in a while. I'm looking at my list right now. So it's going to be delicious, yummy treats. And if it, maybe not, and maybe it'll mess up and have a fail. And I'll be like, hey, it happens. <laughs> so you ready? All right, let's go. Back in the day, I never owned a bread machine. I just had an old fashioned bowl. I didn't even have a stand mixer. For the longest time, I just, we could just use the hand one that was like, $20 I think when it was expensive and I used that for everything and it worked it worked it lasted at least a year or two Sometimes two years and it worked really good now. I have a stand mixer I have everything and it just like whatever you have to do this I really like one of those things that I wouldn't like it's like people like do you invest in one? I don't know. It's kind of like the instapot. Do you invest in instapot? Yeah, it was great for a time and, and I loved it It was quick. It made things go faster But like I don't have it anymore and I'm like the only thing I miss it for is eggs because I feel like it helped your hard-boiled eggs better but after having fails on the hard-boiled eggs for everything people keep saying you know what my son works at an egg factory or chicken farm and he said it does not matter it depends on the hen so i feel like even the instapot it would fail on things and so i'm like you know what so do you need all these fancy things no you don't I, you know where i've seen these before i mean i haven't been to goodwill in years i haven't been there in years so i can't say they're still there but if i can guess most people get these and put those in goodwill so you can find them in really good condition for myself it's one of those things you would throw the food in the food you can throw the food in there the ingredients and it mixes it for you so you can do something else so like if you were a mama with a bunch of kids and you didn't have the time or like or you're working and you're busy i don't know it depends on your situation throw it in or you don't want to even mix it by hand because it hurts your hands because i get that i'm getting old i understand that get one don't spend full price for one just get a cheap you just need a basic one it doesn't even need to be anything fancy but check your local goodwill i'd probably find some used one there so i'm just gonna put it in let it mix up i usually i don't but someone told me that they even use my pizza dough recipe and they put it in their mixer and it works just fine so i'm gonna try it we're gonna try it and do its thing so i think the only setting if you it's on like one which would be your basic setting so i just need it to make a dough so I have to put it on the right thing okay so there's a number like dough so what I'm gonna do okay so I've been mixing up I've got my warm water here my yeast and my um, sugar 
yeast I store mine in the refrigerator it helps it to last longer but it's sometimes it's cold obviously if I don't leave it out for a while to get warm which I don't because I have time so I make my water really hot in my tap I let it run for a few minutes and then added it with the sugar and that helps activate it so your yeast gets a little fluffy if it doesn't get fluffy that's okay it'll get warm eventually and the rising just takes longer so let it do this part this does help so I'm gonna put this in here and there we go and then for mine you add in olive oil I'm an eyeball person, but I probably will measure this out. Two things of olive oil. I don't usually add a measure in a teaspoon of salt. It's one of those things I don't want to mess up. In a teaspoon of salt. Let's. Okay, then with that, you're going to mix in three and a half cups of flour. So I'm going to mix this in the flour. I'm like, this is. I think we moved here. It took me forever to get through my container. We're going through the flour, which is good. I like, I like making food. I like baking. I understand times in life and seasons in life, and you can't, so. But I'm glad to be back to doing this more regularly. I love making food. I really do. Okay, let me just do three. It's three and a half, right? Let's do three, and then we'll push start. And we'll let it mix for a few minutes, and then I'll add more to it. So, anyway, so making food, yes. I love making food. Went through a time in my life where it was busy. I, you know what? Sometimes you can't. You can't because you got so much going on. And so I'm just happy to be back. So this, let this mix up a little bit. I'll keep my eye and I'll check in a few minutes. It does the mixing for you, so you don't even have to mess with anything. And I'll probably add another half a cup. Let me get my half a cup out so I remember how much it is. <laughs> so put this right here. All right, I'm going to put that in there. Perfect. Let that do its thing. The next thing I'm going to do is some waffles, some homemade waffles, because we made strawberry sauce, which is frozen salad, and we never, I made it for yogurt. We never ate it, so it was going to make it for, like, Valentine's Day, but I'm like, that's actually tomorrow, and tomorrow we're going to be gone for Maddie's birthday, so I thought, I'll make enough waffles, and then they can have them today and tomorrow. So, we used to use a waffle mix. Nothing wrong with using waffle pancake mix. That's fine. But back in the day... Use my old-fashioned cookbook here that is just ruined, and you know, you know it's a well-loved cookbook because it's like this. So I'm like, let me pull up my old recipe here, and this is really good. So I'm going to use what I have right here, mix it up. It'll be delicious. We've been making this one forever. I don't even know. This is a Mennonite cookbook. Whenever you find it, like a real Mennonite cookbook, you can find the Mennonite Amish ones like on Amazon. And I know some are on Amazon now, but you want the small little places that make their, like a real one. Because sometimes they're commercialized and I get it's commercialized because, you know, the world and that. But if you can get like a real one, then all the recipes are pretty much foolproof, which is a good thing. So this is a good foolproof. This is one I like. This is Esther Shanks. This one. If you can find this one, I don't know. Mine's like, it's, I think you can because I was going to rebuy this one year and I wrote it down. I'm like, it was like $25. But I'm like, do you spend $25 when you have one? It's just all rip. But I, I love my cookbook. So it's just me using it and you guys seeing it. So it's okay. So waffles. I'm going to use this recipe on here. Let me get a screenshot of it. So I have, um, let me get a picture here just so you have it and I can do it online. Okay, so let me go get a mixing bowl out and we will put all the stuff together. The strombola is doing good. I ended up adding the extra half a cup. Like, it's not extra. It's three and a half cups is what you add. So I put that in there. It's doing its thing so I can work on something else. So this is going to be my waffle mixture. So I'm going to mix up my powdery ingredients. You kind of sift it. So I'll mix it and then the eggs. You beat the egg whites until stiff. And then beat yolks separately. Yes, and you, okay, that's how I was remembering. You make it real fluffy because you kind of fold it in. It's been a while, it's been a long time. So let's mix this up. That mixed up real easily and then when this was heating up I just went to my sink and I just washed the dishes and got those done so you're kind of doing something while you're waiting so you're not you know come back and like oh there's a whole sink full of dishes I do let them sit sometimes and I have a huge sink of it full of dishes but I've learned that if you do them as you go it's a little better I mean but do whatever you can do this is all heated let's um it's like I like burning the oil 
<laughs> you know, you put the oil in it, it just burns it. That's what happened there. That's okay. The first ones will be uh, have that on there. So this is good. We'll put it on here. Let it do its thing. These are turning out so great. Like I know I've used pancake mix. I think someone sent me a Krusty's waffle mix. And the waffle mix was good because it made like Belgian waffles. Like it made the crispy waffles. So that I've been using pancake mix. It just doesn't make it crispy, but this makes it crispy again. So make, make these, they're homemade. They're good, they're really good. So I'm gonna just do a few more batches on this and then I'm, gonna, I'm starting on my food here. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna take, um, we're gonna do, Maddie wants to do pesto tortellini. So she likes that and there's only a few people that like it. It's good, that's why I got a small bag. And so what I'm gonna do is do spaghetti as well. So I've got, I've actually got leftover taco meat. I know, what do you do, throw it away? No, you can rinse it off, call me crazy, but I'll take rid of the taco stuff, rinse it off, use that meat and then I also have a package in here that is cooking. So I will do a lot of meat, but then I also need to do sauce for the spaghetti sauce, of course, but I also need a sauce for stromboli tonight. So I'm thinking, why don't I do a different pot and make a, a sauce with that? And then I can pour the sauce into the meat and then take some sauce for the stromboli. I'm thinking I'm gonna do that. So what I'm doing with that is, there's a little bit of uh, spaghetti sauce here. This is tomato paste that I froze and then I'm using, this is my last container. I got this at a discount store in North Carolina. It is still, is it still within the day? Oh yes, it's 20, yeah. Feb oh, actually February 7th, 2024. Not bad, we're only seven days past the expiration, which is no big deal, you'll, you'll live, I promise. And so that I'll use up, and so I'm making, I'll just add water to it to make it good, and I've got some diced tomatoes here, and I also have a container of peppers and onions. I don't know if I'll add that to the sauce, probably not. I'll probably add that to the meat to make it more flavorful than me. So those I'm gonna add in there, so I'll get that rolling. I should, I was gonna do all my treats first, but I'm like, might as well start the dinners as well. So having my waffle iron out, I'm thinking I'll make grilled cheese on there today. They like, that little thing is really cool. Like I know people do the waffle sandwiches and that. That is what I'm gonna make in there today. That'll be fun. I'll use some bread. I've got um, cheese, the American cheese slices. We'll do that for lunch if I remember here. Hopefully I will. So I'm looking, I need a pen. I need a pen down here. Hold on, let me get a pen. Okay, if we can have smell vision these smell so good. Like I, oh, no, I love making homemade. I know you can't. I know you can't always. Like, who has time to make that? It doesn't take long to whip it up, and sometimes you don't want to. You want to buy it at the store. So, not knocking anybody, but that is so good and crispy. Mm, delicious. So, I took my strawberry sauce that was frozen and put it in the microwave to thaw most of it. This is breakfast. Easy. I got myself Valentine's breakfast on the day before. So, my meat is cooking. The sun is coming up. That's a good thing. Meat is cooking. I just added, it's probably, I don't know, a quarter pound of taco meat. I was going to rinse it up, but I'm like, it's not that much in here. So, this is cooking away. I'm going to take, this is, number onions and peppers and garlic. That I, remember, I pureed those up. I'm going to add that in here. Something I didn't have to drag out my food processor for to chop it or chop by hand and put a little water. So that's a great, easy way to save on having to cut those out because in reality, when you're making food, that's the last thing you want to do. I mean, I don't. <laughs> so they're all done, which is really good. So this is, it's almost done cooking up here. In the microwave, I've got chocolate I'm melting right now. I figured I'm like, I'm doing a bunch of things. I'm trying to get the chocolate milk because I'm like, I'm supposed to make those for the kids for Valentine's Day. It's kind of be surprised, but I think they'll be coming down while they're uh, hardening. That's okay. So this will be good. The key to your like, spaghetti sauce tasting good is really season your meat. Make sure you season it really well. Like when you make meatballs, you add a lot of flavoring, lots of seasoning, that kind of stuff. And so do the same. So instead of making meatballs, which is delicious, just make sure you season the meat very well. So my sauce is good. I already shut it off. Nice and thick. This will be really good. So I'll take some out for my stromboli and then I'll add the rest in here for spaghetti. I'm not gonna be making all the spaghetti today. I just wanna make the sauce because tomorrow we're gonna be gone most of the day, but we will be able to come back at night and um, before dinner so that we can cook the 
pasta and we can throw her pesto tortellini, throw it, set the pesto tortellini in the oven to bake it. So I just wanted to get the meat part done because that takes time and I won't have to worry about that tomorrow. So this is good, okay, we're coming along, getting things done today. The hamburger is done here. I'm gonna just shut that off, it's all cooked. I'll add all the sauce in just a minute, let me shut my, let me shut my cover here. I'm gonna do chocolate dip stuff now. Got chocolate, I used up, I had some um, melting chocolate disc, I got this all at Christmas, and I had some other chocolate chunks, I'm just gonna use it up. So I melted a big chunk in my microwave here, and I was like, that might be way too much, but I'm looking around, I'm like, you know what I have? I can make peanut butter balls and dip those if I need to. I've also got some leftover random like nuts, like cashews and pistachio pieces, and like I can make like a, just pour it into like a tiny little cup and make chocolate with nuts too. We'll see how many we get. So I'm gonna get my Oreos. I'm putting, I don't have any parchment paper, but you know what works good? Cutting boards. I got four, I like three. Maybe I do. Anyway, so I'm just gonna dip them and put them on there. I've got some sprinkles, because I got lots of sprinkles from Hilva. So we'll dip them and stick them on here. That was an entire package of Oreos and not one of them was broken. That's a good, good win there. So that, I still have a lot of chocolate. A lot of chocolate. I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, I think I'll do some of the peanut butter things. I was supposed to make peanut brittle. I'm not there yet. We'll see if I even do. Pretzels. So when you do pretzels, like I don't mind dipping them and setting them down. You put them like on a rack and it dips down. I just don't like the bars underneath hitting the chop, the thing. Sometimes it rips off the whole thing. So I've learned to put it on a, um, like this. And set it like this. Well, you have to be very careful. Very, very careful. <laughs> this is the one I use, yes. Very careful, all the way across, and you're good to go. So let's make some of these. So out of that entire bag of pretzels, there was just two. I broke one and then there was one broken in the whole bag. That's shocking. So this is good. Okay. I started, like, if you have to give them people, put them on the baking pan so then they look nicer. You're gonna just send them to your family, they don't care, then put them on something flat. This isn't gonna be too bad. This one I kind of smushed a little bit because I was at the end of it. So I'm like, hmm, what do I do with the rest? So I'm debating, my options are peanut butter, balls like I can do buckeye balls I can also take nuts and do like a chocolate bark and uh, crushed pistachios and cashews some cranberries in there so that's an up or even pretzels that's an option or because there's not a ton I mean there's enough and that like a gazillion or I can make homemade biscotti I haven't made biscotti in a long time I don't even think I've ever even done it for YouTube maybe way back in the beginning when I started no I had to have sorry I was like a should I way back because I would have done like a Christmas cookie party and my girlfriend made biscotti. So I'm thinking, maybe I'll do biscotti. I haven't done that in a long time. Dip, that's yummy. And then you know what? That's always a treat for um, putting it in like your coffee or geez, even hot cocoa. So let me go see if I have, I think I have my recipe in my cookbook. Let me look. Okay, I do. I'm like, I want to put my cookbook together. I didn't put like, like people would put biscotti under biscotti under B. I put it under like chocolate biscotti. Like my cornbread was under S, sweet cornbread. So, you know, it's not professional. It's just me. So, chocolate biscotti. This is from my friend Tammy. She made this and it's so good. So I'm going to do this one. That'll be really good. Just with melting chocolate and add mini chocolate chips. I don't have mini chips, but I could also add, um, maybe I can do the little nuts on there. Crushed up some nuts. So, okay, we're taking a turn for the day. Let me, uh, let me get a picture of this for you guys. It's on my, it's on my blog, I know that. Oh, hold on. I'm trying to shove this in my little cookbook holder. Okay, there we go. 
Let me get, I'm, doing, I'm trying to get it on here. So let me get a picture for you because sometimes I put the recipe, sometimes I forget, or sometimes life is busy. The reason why I don't all the time is because I'm making a video every single day. And so some days when I'm at nighttime and I go to edit, it's like, I got a million things going on. I'm like, it's one more thing to add to your video. Cause it takes about an hour, hour and a half, sometimes two hours for a video. It really does. So that's the uh, reason why I may not do that. So this is easy. Let me get out my mixing bowl. We'll mix this up. I couldn't pull the tab on this and then I'm like, I went to just cut it. It did not lift up very well. That was weird. All right, let's get that right there. That was really weird. I've made this recipe before and I know I've made this recipe before. I've made it for a few times and I just looked, I'm like, in my cookbook, I'm like, did I make the recipe correctly? So I went on my blog. I'm like, yeah, that's what I would have used. And I just Googled another recipe and it's like, same ingredients. And then someone said, if, you, if it's too dry, add um, more eggs. And so I'm thinking my butter, I didn't melt it. I'm thinking that's what it was or a lot softer. So it could be. So I'm gonna add another egg to this and mix it up. You want the dough obviously so you can make a log, but I was just like, did I do something wrong? But and these are tiny, they're not really large eggs, are they more like a medium egg, so definitely smaller. Yes, I left that all in there so you can see that, yes, I make mistakes. <laughs> so so um, follow the recipe, follow the recipe. The eggs were a little bit smaller, so I added the third egg to it. There's two eggs in the recipe. I should have just kept mixing with that. It would have been fine. I added the fourth one that it was way too gooey, so I ended up having to add more flour. I was gonna mix it in the bowl, but I put my bowl in the sink and it had water in it, so I'm like, I'll just mix it on the pan here. So it'll be fine, it'll be fine, I promise you. But, Follow the recipe. If you have bigger eggs, that's fine. But if you have smaller eggs like I did, that's what you're going to get. So I'm looking here. Okay, 375. Let me turn my oven in. Yeah, totally. That was just my fail. Sorry, Tammy. Your food is really good. I just messed that up. So this is one more thing done. Let me kind of pick up my mess a little bit here and see. Oh, you know, my dough is ready too. Look at that. That's looking great. And I think you just punched this down. It's done in five minutes. Let me look up real quick. So I'm going to start making um, peanut brittle. This is another recipe. Let me take another picture. This is my friend's recipe, Marie. She made this one year and it was so, so good. So my bread dough just beeped. So I just punched it down. Oh, is it going to keep doing that? Maybe it's doing that. Okay. Let it rise again. That'll be fine. Can I set it in a setting to rise? Mm, maybe not, but that's okay. So this is really, I'm looking at the recipe to remember how to make it. So basically you combine it a small dish and set aside. It's baking soda, salt, and butter. Use real butter for this. So peanut brittle is one of those recipes you have to have and be on it because it will burn. So in my small bowl, I put baking soda, salt, and a pat of butter. Use a good size, use real butter. And then I, she made hers in aluminum pie plates, which was great for giving us gifts because they're perfectly round, they fit in a Ziploc bag. I don't have those, I don't think I do. No, I got square. I was thinking, did I have some for my dad? I don't have those. So I'm just using that big giant jelly roll and when that's gonna be good. And then in a pot, you're gonna add water, carol syrup, and sugar. This is gonna cook until 250 degrees. I believe it's about 10 minutes from what I remember. And then you're gonna have on hand ready your peanuts to go. Get raw ones. You can use regular canned peanuts, but the raw, they, I think they're called Spanish peanuts too. Those are really good to get. And then a pat of butter. So I've got that sitting here. You add that in and you cook it until it turns a dark caramel color. You'll smell the peanuts change and it's your best guide. And I thought that I burned them because it's notice the smell, but it's normal about five, nine more minutes I put down. Turn off the heat and add your salt, soda, salt, butter mixture, and stir until well combined. So you just have to be honest. What I'm doing is um, 
being right here with it. And I'm also kind of picking up my kitchen a little bit as I'm going because I got stuff everywhere. And so through all that, I got all my dishes washed, put in the dishwasher. They're cleaning the dishwasher. I just put them in there because there's not much room on my rack. I'm done with that. So I'm going to add, this is, I just turned this temperature up a little bit. I'm going to add some of the sauce to my meat here to see how much I'm going to add to it. And then our spaghetti sauce will be done for tomorrow. And probably then some. And if I have any left over, I'll probably just freeze it. Let's see how much we need to add here. I know my crew likes spaghetti. They like spaghetti. So make it nice and meaty and thick sauce will be really nice. And if we don't eat it all up, that's okay too. We can always freeze some of the meat sauce. I just gotta watch this because I turned it up. So you wanna go to, what do I wanna go to? We are going to 250 degrees. We're at 160, so we got some time. So I just turned it up. Use a heavy bottom hand so it doesn't burn. And you are good. That tastes really, really good. So I'm reusing oil from the milk tank. This is already a little bit cool. I'll put that in the refrigerator. And then that way tomorrow we'll put it in the oven with her pesto tortellini when we get back home. But um, we're gonna make that too in a little bit. She wanted to make that today, so. Okay, we got some time still. We're still going, it's only 168. We got time, keep working. This is all done in phases. So this, you're just gonna stir this and then wait for it to get, I looked up the rest. It said 10 minutes, she did 10 minutes, but um, or nine minutes. I've learned like living in the mountains and different elevations, everything cooks differently. So it, I looked up a recipe, another one, it's 305 degrees, which would probably be about right. So just kind of stir this, keep stirring. It'll turn a caramel color. It'll smell like the peanuts are burning, but they're not. And then I'm gonna add the soda salt and other butter mixture and then i'm gonna add some vanilla that was something they did in their recipe I'm like ooh, that would be really good to add to it so this will be great i'll have this and then i was making food i'm like hmm you know you get creative you think of things i was gonna do the um stromboli today some with pepperoni and cheese and salami and then i was thinking that for some reason this morning i was craving and thinking the heat of meat and broccoli chopped up with alfredo sauce i thought that would be good and then i was like Okay, that might be yummy, but then I went out in the freezer and I saw I have buffalo chicken, and I'm like, I could do buffalo chicken, but the more I'm sitting here, we went to a Valentine party and they had buffalo chicken dip, and it was so good, and I'm like, I forget, I usually make it, um, Jensen doesn't love that, so it doesn't matter if I make it dairy-free or not, but I'm like, but Maddie and I really loved it, I'm like, you know what, why don't I just do the, this with the two pizzas with um, pepperoni and salami and cheese in my stromboli, and then I'll do, why don't I just do the buffalo chicken dip. So I pulled out a uh, cream cheese I have, and then I also have my frozen chicken. I think I added hot sauce to it. I think I added hot sauce and ranch powder to it. I don't know, I'll have to kind of see what I got, and then mix it up and 
taste it, it'll be delicious. But I've got the Tostito chips and I thought, that'll be really yummy. So I bought a bunch of those chips thinking I was gonna do some homemade salsa. But we've had enough snacks that I really haven't made a ton of it just yet. So I think that'll be our second dish. We'll have you gonna have buffalo chicken dip or you're gonna have stromboli. So I think that's gonna work out good for tonight. And then I'm making this and then this is, is this gonna be it? It's gonna be this and I just have to do my stromboli. I think that's gonna be it for food. I'm going to do sandwiches, which in a little bit, but I think that's going to be a good day. And then Maddie wants to make her stuff, so she's going to do the pesto tortellini, and she wants to make her strawberry pretzel dessert. So we'll get her down here. I'll finish this up, and then she can make hers, because that's fun to do. So a great morning. Great, great morning. I've got to do school. We've got to do a video today. We want to get out and go for a walk today, because it's a cooler outside. All good plans for the day. Make sure they go good. Like yesterday was a little bit busier because I had to do some running today. I don't have to do any running. So then today is my day to get home and do as much home stuff as I can. And even on Tuesday, because it's Tuesday for me, no, it's Wednesday. Tuesday and Wednesday on my cleaning chart, I put deep clean. So like today I'm gonna be doing um, food. So there's not gonna be time to deep clean, but I was thinking tomorrow I would, but it's gonna be Maddie's birthday. So I might do it the next day. We'll see how, uh, and if I don't, I miss my deep clean. What's my focus this week? We're in the second week. Last week was my kitchen. Second week is dining room, living room, and upstairs room. That's really not a big deal. I can crank that out real quick because there's not that much stuff in those two rooms. We keep it pretty simple. So it's actually a really good, this smells so good. I haven't made this in years. It's been a little while. Ragnar likes it, I like it too. My mom, you know, I made it last time for my mom. She was coming for Christmas, and so we made some that's really delicious. Or maybe I mailed it to her. I think it was when she came for Christmas. Because she likes peanut brittle. So it's one of those things you buy all the time for your parents. And then I'm like, wait a minute, I'm thinking my mom, I asked my dad, I'm like, you don't like peanut brittle, do you? He's like, no, 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 your mom likes that. I'm like, okay, I thought so. I'm trying to remember what they, they each like, but she always liked it, but it's delicious. So it's, and it smells good. The bis I gotta do the biscotti, I gotta finish that up. That is baking away. Getting hard. It's good. Good day. Great day. Don't you love good days? I love good days. And some nice days are bad, and that's okay too, but today is a good day. Even though yesterday was busy, it was still a good day. But in the night, I'm like, okay, today was a good day. Okay, we're at 250. Or we're at 300? No, 250. Okay, we got some time to go still. So we gotta get all the way to 305, according to the internet. Yes. And then I pop my pan over here, ready to go. I pour it in, and you gotta kind of twist it and turn it so that it um, melts really good, like spreads out really good. This looks great. And do not splatter yourself because this is like super hot. And you will burn your skin. You don't wanna do that. You definitely don't wanna do that. This is taking some time. All right, 265, 280, okay. It's getting there. I just got it in my slow cooker. So I think I'm just gonna put everything in there because I could do it in my oven and the oven has to stand for a while. And I'm thinking I can just put the chicken, it's kind of frozen in there, put the block of cream cheese in there, and then I think it's just regular cheese on top. I'd probably just mix it all together, right, from what I remember. So I'll probably put that in there, put the cream cheese, let it kind of um, thaw a little bit, maybe add a little bit of hot sauce, and um, put the cheese on it when it's almost at the end. I had to let because my Sam's Club order friend came. I had to reorder ahead. A couple things I ordered. One was hot sauce and Miracle Whip. I ordered it three times. Every time they sent it, it got broken or lost or something. So it came and Steven's like, wow, I got a big giant gallon jug of Frank's hot sauce. And he's like, that's some hot sauce, ma. I said, I know, it's way cheaper to buy it. By the gallon, I just have to put it in a smaller container. Okay, we're almost there. I'm gonna get some hot pads out. I'm gonna bring you over here because um, when you're filming and you're trying to do something real quick, it, uh, you know, it's hard. So I'm gonna put you over here. Turn it on and be ready to film it when I pour it in. Okay, delicious. So if you put it down, if you catch spreading it, it kind of separates and bubbles weird because of the way it fluffs up with the baking soda. So you just kind of tap it on your countertop. It's a little easier when you do it in smaller batches, like pie tins, you can get it to go, but this is, but you have to have someone help you. If you do it in pie tins, you gotta hit each one, like kind of pour, have someone pour it in, someone kind of hit it. But since I'm doing a big pan, I, this is gonna work just fine. So this I'm gonna put over here to cool. That's done, bread's in the oven. Let's get the um, buffalo chicken. And then, oh, fill your pot up with hot water because that's candy, you know, it's gonna melt. Got chocolate, we'll remelt that. So in here, I'm gonna add, I've got buffalo chicken. I made this 
freezer meal chicken in the um, December, right? Yes, when I made it. So I'm just, it tastes smells like buffalo sauce. I can't remember what else I added. I feel like it was buffalo um, sauce and ranch powder. I'm pretty sure. So since we're going to kind of be remaking this, you know, a little bit better, I'll add a package of cream cheese to this. And then I'll add a little bit probably more sauce and then I'll stir it when it gets all melted. And then that way um, you can figure out what else to add and I'll add the cheese on it too. Delicious, this is a way to gather all those fragments up and use them. This is not something planned, but we did have it. I'm like, oh, I forgot how delicious this is. And I always wanted to do it dairy, but Jensen doesn't really like this, so it doesn't even matter. I like the little pizza things for sure. Basically put a block on top. Okay, well, let me go get a little bit of hot sauce. We've got two bottles open in our refrigerator. <laughs> I'm just gonna pour this little bit I have in here. If I have to add more, I will. I don't know how much is in the chicken. So again, we'll see. So cover this with my lid. And I'm gonna plug this in and we're gonna be good for a meal for tonight. Still waiting on the cake in the oven, so I'm gonna get this out. I punched this down two times. Ooh, it's nice and spongy, look at it. Nice and spongy, so that's a good dough. Oh yeah, real good bread, or dough. It's a little sticky. So make sure you have your flour handy. I'm gonna split this, hold on one second. I'm gonna split this into two and do two of them. And then you wanna make, you wanna add butter and over season it with garlic. I might have to melt this. The problem is I don't have one of those brushes, which you know I used to have and for whatever reason did not make a cut here or I don't think I threw it away here. I think I got rid of it in the mountains because I'm like, oh, I never use it. No, I use it now. I know, one of those things. So I put a lot of garlic salt in here and then I put Italian seasoning. So, I probably will melt it a little bit. Okay, mm, use lots of flavor. That's what makes it taste good. So this, these two, I'm gonna take this and separate this into two, roll it out as much as I can into a rectangle, and then I'm gonna put on mine salami, pepperoni, and I'm gonna use provolone cheese on one of them. The other one, I'm just gonna use mozzarella cheese that way, because Jensen can do the provolone, and it'll be delicious. Cover it, you can put an egg wash on it. Mm, so delicious, so good. Look who came out of a dead sleep, Maxine. She's like, I know there's meat up there. <laughs> Give her a piece of pepperoni. You want a piece of pepperoni? You want me to like pepperoni? There you go. Let's get her. Okay, let me get this one. Put the cheese on. I'm gonna let these rise for a little bit. I just put everything bagel seasoning, garlic powder, and a little bit of Parmesan because I have the fresh stuff, and then I'm gonna let it rise up and then I'll bake it in the oven. So for biscotti, you cut it, so it's got a little flour on the outside, it's gonna be dipped in chocolate. Put it inside, I'm gonna bake it till it's a little crispy, and then I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side. I think it's hard, it's yummy. Okay, so it's been a busy few hours. We actually took a break, we watched, ended up watching a movie. We watched the movie Radio. Do you remember the movie Radio? I haven't watched that in so many years. And so it's interesting because it takes place in Anderson, South Carolina, which was not too far from where we used to live at. We actually would drive through Anderson, South Carolina. So we watched that, got our school done, and I'm like, Okay, I gotta get stuff going. I gotta finish up life. So Maddie put all of our treats away. I'm like, they just saw them all. They're like, what are these for? I'm like, Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. So I've got my, 
um, pretzels and my cookies here. And then the buffalo dip, delicious. That looks really good. I added cheese to it and turned it down and warm. I just put the bread in the oven and then this has been sitting out. This is the, um, what is this called, biscotti. So I'm gonna dip it to see how much chocolate I have. Just dip them and let them sit. I got something to put them on. And then um, we're gonna start working on Maddie's strawberry pretzel dessert. So this is what it looks like. Those are big pieces of, you can do smaller biscotti. This recipe, you actually take the loaf and cut them in two. So there's two smaller ones. I just did big giant ones. I don't really care if big giant ones. Oh, good. Let's bring this on. This is good. And what I, what I would do if I were to give this to somebody, I, maybe I would dip it, but then what I would do is drizzle, like white chocolate over it would be really good, or drizzle the dark chocolate. I figured kids could use this and put it inside like hot cocoa. That'll be good. So what I'm gonna do is take, I have very little bit here left over. I'm gonna get some muffin liners. And I'm gonna take a couple um, cashews and some of these pistachios that I got and just put them in there with the chocolate and let them harden. Maddie is over here. Oh, she is ready. She's I'm ready. Over here. The Maddie, the OG, the OG Maddie. The OG Maddie. The OG Maddie. <laughs> Not no fake Maddie. No fake Maddies in this household. So she is going to make strawberry pretzel dessert. So we gotta start with the dessert. best dessert. You and who else is it favorite? Colin. Colin and Maddie, favorite people that love the dessert. So she's gonna make start making it because it's gotta get the layers gotta cool in between. So I said, well, let's get the bottom going, then you can start making your dinner. So she's gonna put food processor over here. She's gonna do pretzels, it's three quarters of a bag of pretzels, six tablespoons of sugar, yep. and a cup of butter. And just grind it up. It's so easy. Then she's gonna pat it in a pan. Real simple. Maddie did exactly what I did the first time. I was like, why is this thing not turning on? And I realized that you have to go a certain way. So she's got it looking good. So she's going to, we're going to put it inside this pan. So it's nice and deep. So we'll dump it in there. I'm going to these pretzels for this chocolate. And just, let me get you over here. So what I decided to do, I started doing it wrong. I cut the nuts, I poured the rest of the cashews in there. Pistachios, I'm stirring it up. I wish I had coconut, but I don't, but that would be really good too. And I'm just gonna pour it in little cups. So those nuts, I could have just dropped them probably on like wax paper or on the paper, but it's good. I mean, it's literally just using up. That's all I could have done, just drop them on there. So they pretty much just pop out of here. See, there's moving. So this is yummy. I've got the biscotti done, and then um, Maddie's gonna start mixing up her tortellini. So we're gonna do a little best. tortellini's best. So she's just basically we're gonna do it simple. We're gonna do tortellini frozen, Alfredo sauce and pesto, and that's it. That's it. She wants to put cheese. So she can. Easy. easy. Put it in a pan. So we're gonna get that out. So we took a little break, Maddie finished her awesome pesto right here. So we're gonna put that in the refrigerator for a while. Then I cracked open this. This is so, so good. So I added more um, hot sauce to it because the kids were like, eh, it's not that spicy. So I came over here and poured more spice into it. Ooh, it's yummy. Very, very good. So we already ate some of that today. And then so they're like, are you gonna make grilled cheese? Look at it, I just put four <laughs> of iron, put a piece of um, provolone in there with cheese. It's awesome. So that's a good thing. So I'm waiting on um, Maddie's bottom layer came out. It's gonna take a little bit to cool. Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit to I move away from here. I need to move it so it can have some air flow underneath it. It's not that cool outside. 
and then she can start on her next layer for that. And then what else do we got? We, what's the list say today? Tortellini, bread. We're gonna do like a buttery, garlicky sauce. So maybe she can mix that up. Strawberry pretzel, Oreo. So not too bad. What? Not too bad. I'm looking at everything. Okay. The only thing I was gonna do, I'm gonna list to get some bread out of the refrigerator outside and um, coffee creamer, and then. Um, Doing great for a great day. Great, another great day. Love great days getting things accomplished. It makes you go, okay, all good. All right, we're on to the next thing. Maddie's doing the next layer of her dessert. I just stuck it outside. She's like, don't let anything get out of it. <laughs> so <laughs> don't want to ruin it. It's pretty cool outside, so I think it'll be okay to be out there. So she's gonna make the cream layer, which is a cup of sugar, a package of cream cheese. You brought, uh, blend that up and then you add in with topping. And then we lay that down. Then she's gonna cut a bunch of strawberries, put that down, then we'll make the jello and pour it on top. Delicious. That's it. Delicious. That's it. <laughs> all right, we are boiling some water for the jello. We got the girls here. We're talking all about Maggie's birthday tomorrow. We're undecided about what we're gonna do, but. I'm undecided. She wants to do a Goodwill shopping. I'm like, hello. Because I love Goodwill. So we might just, I've never, I haven't even been anything right here. So Autumn is sitting here. She's gonna find us the best one to go to. I don't know where it is. We've seen it, I just have no idea. So that would be a fun, exciting day. Goodwill shopping. Taking our bread, I'm cutting it in half. She is going to take, <laughs> who is the lazy person away? Take the stick of butter, <laughs> spread it out with a spoon, and then you just sprinkle Parmesan cheese and garlic powder on it. That's and then right. we'll just close it back up, and then tomorrow we'll bake it with a thing. Easy. It's good. If we have enough butter for one stick, we'll do another one too. Girls are hurting each other here. The peanut brittle <laughs> turned out so, so good. So I put this in a Ziploc bag. Just keep it in a sealed bag. Like I said, if you can do it, um, do the pie tins, and then you can just give the whole thing to somebody with a bag. That's a really neat way, but this is delicious. Very, very good. I'm glad I made it this way. And that little bit of flavoring, I would even do maple flavoring maybe. So that was a great deal. So I got so many treats today, like so many treats. That's delicious over here. The stromboli is done. Look at, this looks so, so good. So this. We're gonna cut it and use some sauce for dipping. That is dinner tonight and then we've got this stuff. This is delicious too, so good, right there. And Maddie has her dinner for tomorrow. So we have so many treats. We have the biscotti. We have got all this biscotti, biscotti right here. I've got the Oreos in here. Those are gonna, those smell so good. And then the pretzels. And then what else do we do today? And the pretzels are on here. And then these little things, which are really good. I mean, it's just basically chocolate and nuts, so good. And then Maddie's got her dinner for tomorrow. So tomorrow we won't do any food. We'll just come home and cook. The meat sauce is done. I'll just make pasta. I pulled some corn on the cob out of the freezer. I put that inside here so I remembered. And then we'll bake her bread. I'm looking at what else. And then making her tortellini and then the strawberry pretzel. We just had to put the jello in the refrigerator because it's pretty warm. I said, leave it in there and set a timer for about a half hour. 
who will come check it and then we'll pour it on and let it sit on top and it'll be delicious. That it's it. That's it, right? I don't look at anything else. That's it. I think that's it for my day and I'm done. I'm finished. It's like 3.40 right now. I'm like, it's been a long day. <laughs> I'm like, I've been in the kitchen for a long time, but we did do a lot of school and we took some time to watch a movie. So that took up most of my day too. So I'm going to close today's video. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed all the food we made. I'm excited for all the stuff. It's a great day. And then tomorrow, come back tomorrow, we're going to go shopping for Maddie's birthday. She's indecisive. She doesn't know what she wants to do. So it'll just be a fun day out. I don't know. But whatever we do, we'll have a great time. So you have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.